What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to a brand new Liverpool news video where we will have major updates on the Xabi Alonso situation and also I attended the Hungary Turkey game uh, two days ago and I will upload the match vlog with all the game's highlights because Dominic Sovaslay scored a great goal in that game so make sure to watch that game later it will come out on my channel and also if you are new around here and if you want to stay up to date with all the latest news and information around Liverpool FC and around the Premier League make sure to subscribe and leave a like on this video if you enjoyed this so Xabi Alonso is still the favorite for the Liverpool job and now that Michael Edwards has appointed Richard Hughes or Liverpool has appointed Richard Hughes of course with Michael Edwards in the background as Liverpool's new sporting director Richard Hughes will start working alongside Michael Edwards as the CEO of football at FSG to start talking to all the candidates that Liverpool have drawn up and Xabi Alonso is, the very, at the, is at the very top so official talks have already begun with Xabi Alonso and his representatives but of course they won't be made public like Bayern Munich are making uh, their courtship of Xabi Alonso very public and I feel that that's very disrespectful and very wrong because it would be like Manchester City making public that they are talking to Jurgen Klopp to become Man City's next manager while the title race is still ongoing. And of course Leverkusen are 10 points clear of uh, Bayern Munich so the title race is not as tight in the Bundesliga as it is in uh, the Premier League but still I find it wrong and disrespectful that Bayern Munich publicly can talk about and uh, they are using journalists to put stories out. Don't they get, uh, don't be too naive guys that you think that these journalists are coming up with all these stories on their own somebody or a number of people are briefing these journalists to put these stories out to unsettle Xabi Alonso to unsettle the Leverkusen players to unsettle the whole club of Leverkusen because that's pretty much Bayern's only chance to get back in the title race even if they win every game the Leverkusen already have the title, the fate of the title in their hands. So I find it wrong that Bayern Munich are resorting to these dirty tactics. But you know Bayern are used to dominating uh, the Bundesliga and uh, there is one season where Leverkusen are dominating the Bundesliga and Bayern Munich are using all these door dirty under the table tactics to unsettle Leverkusen. That says it all about the club really. I think if Leverkusen just win their games and be consistent they will march towards the Bundesliga title no problem 10 points is a lot they need to lose three games Bayern Munich needs to win three games in a row and they would still be one point behind Leverkusen but Sky Germany's Florian Pettenberg has made it clear that Xabi Alonso is more likely to join Bayern Munich than Liverpool if he leaves by Leverkusen this summer now we don't know whether Sk uh, Florian Pettenberg has uh, sources close to Xabi Alonso Alonso or Xabi Alonso's camp or is this information coming from Bayern Munich to try to unsettle Leverkusen to try to persuade maybe Xabi Alonso to choose Bayern Munich and I think that's the least attractive option to Xabi Alonso I mean Leverkusen right now are dominating the Bundesliga they are in the German Cup uh, semi-finals they are in the Europa League uh, quarter-finals they have a great chance to go all the way in the German Cup and they are have a great chance to win the final in the Europa League but you know why would you go to Bayern Munich unless you want a job that is pretty much guaranteed trophies if you want to challenge yourself then either stay at Leverkusen and try to win the Champions League with them or go far in the Champions League or go to Liverpool or Real Madrid but Florian Pratenberg says that clubs like Liverpool and Real Madrid want to sign Xabi Alonso but again our clear information if he would leave Leverkusen in the summer he would join Bayern Munich and not Liverpool as I said I don't know how reliable this information is because we don't know the source of uh, this information really apart from uh, 
uh, you know, Florian Pretemek. But it's worrying from a Liverpool's perspective that now multiple journalists in Germany are saying this. Like Christian Fark has shared that the, the rumor is that Alonso is staying in Leverkusen to become Carlo Ancelotti's successor at Real Madrid. Ancelotti has extended his contract with Real Madrid until 2026. And the Bild reporter Christian Falk said that Xabi Alonso remains silent about his future. And fewer and fewer people believe that Xabi Alonso will choose Liverpool. Bayern is also still waiting for a signal from Alonso. Leverkusen officials remain adamant that Alonso will continue to be their coach next season. So there are wildly different, these are wildly different information, wildly different rumors circulating. And English journalists are saying that Liverpool will try everything to sign Xabi Alonso and Xabi Alonso is the favorite to become the next Liverpool manager. He is the top candidate. So who should you believe? Well, I will tell you that take the information that is coming out of Germany with a pinch of salt because a lot of journalists are being briefed by Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich is so powerful in German football that they can run any story in the German media. A lot of, a lot of German newspapers Basically, they are uh, Bayern Munich uh, newspapers, uh, really, because they are FC Hollywood, they are called in Germany. They are the biggest club. They sell the most papers. Anytime there is a Bayern Munich story, that sells the newspapers. So the journalists are always reporting on Bayern Munich. And a lot of journalists have very close ties with Bayern Munich informants. So take those informations with a pinch of salt. But of course, you, there should there is some uh, credibility. Christian Falk is a pretty reliable journalist. And he's saying that Xabi Alonso could become Real Madrid manager maybe in one or two years. So he might stay at Leverkusen. I think that's a more likely scenario than him becoming Bayern Munich manager. Because uh, at Leverkusen, the, he builds a brilliant legacy. He becomes a club legend, winning the Bundesliga, potentially even winning the German double, the Bundesliga and the day of Pokal, potentially even winning the unprecedented treble in terms of Leverkusen's history. They never won the Bundesliga. I think they have won the Europa League trophy and uh, not many German Cup titles either. So he would be an absolute club legend at Leverkusen, even if he just wins the Bundesliga. But he has a good chance to win the German Cup. Bayer Leverkusen are by far the best team in the German Cup. And if Bayer Leverkusen make the final, they will play a team from the second division because Kaiserslautern and Saarbrücken are playing the German Cup semi-finals on the other side. And Saarbrücken knocked out Bayern Munich and Frankfurt and teams like that, Borussia Mönchengladbach as well. So Leverkusen have a great chance to win the German Cup as well. So if he goes to Bayern Munich after winning all these trophies with Leverkusen, you have to question his integrity and you have to also question, you know, his thinking because Leverkusen fans would hate him with Yes, uh, they would probably be happy still that they won these trophies under Xabi Alonso. But imagine uh, your you know, like biggest rival Bayern Munich getting your manager after Le Xabi Alonso built a brilliant legacy at Leverkusen. It would ruin a lot of his reputation in Leverkusen. But you have to understand, uh, of course, Bayern Munich are a brilliant club with a lot of money and the prestige and the squad strength to win the Champions League. And ultimately, Xabi Alonso will want to win as many trophies and titles as possible. And at Bayern Munich, he would pretty much guarantee to win the Bundesliga with uh, you know Bayern and win the German Cup maybe. And he would have a good chance to win the Champions League as well. The one reason why I think Xabi Alonso might not choose Liverpool is that even though Liverpool have a brilliant squad, that we have a lot of uh, great talented players and a great project going forward, we don't have as much money as Bayern Munich. Don't have as much money as Real Madrid. Real Madrid, uh, who signed, uh, you know, Chouameni, Kamavinga, before that Valverde, they signed Bellingham. They are signing Kylian Mbappe and Endrick, who scored on his debut uh, at Wembley. He is the first player to score and the youngest player to score at Wembley Stadium and he the first player sco to score on his debut at Wembley and also he scored the, wi scored the winner for Brazil coming on as a substitute against England at Wembley is a historic moment for Hendrik and he's only 17 years old and he's becoming a Real Madrid player as well. So Real Madrid have an absolutely stacked squad and I can understand the allure 
of Real Madrid because they are a huge club and if Carlo Ancelotti steps down in one or two years then maybe Xabi Alonso will just stay at Leverkusen and become Real Madrid manager in one or two years if he gets guarantees from Florentino Perez that he could become Real Madrid manager guaranteed in one or two years but it's a tricky situation because Real Madrid's uh, Carlo Ancelotti still has two years left on his contract so, and he's very happy at Real Madrid. He recently said after he was asked uh, do, does he want to become the Brazil national team manager because Brazil has a revolving door of national team managers and Carlo Ancelotti they wanted him to become Brazil national team manager but he said I'm very happy with Ra at Real Madrid very very happy no reason to leave so he will stay at Real Madrid so that rules out Real Madrid this summer to appoint Xavi also pretty much. So now it's it will be down mainly, mainly to Bayern Munich, Liverpool and Bayer Leverkusen. Bayer Leverkusen of course can't offer him, can't offer him the wages uh, that Bayern or Liverpool can offer him, but they can offer him a sporting project that is very close to his heart because this is his team that Xavi Alonso built. So I'm sure that he loves the players, he loves this Leverkusen project, he's very happy there. But the reports are coming out are saying that they, Bayern Munich are optimistic about their chances of persuading Alonso to become their ne next manager and he would likely pick them over Liverpool if he does decide uh, to leave Leverkusen. So the big question is will he leave Leverkusen or not? The Leverkusen goalkeeper Radetzky recently gave an interview saying that no one would be angry or argue if Xabi Alonso wins the Bundesliga then decides to go to another club. We see daily that he loves to be in Leverkusen, he enjoys Düsseldorf where he lives, but if you look at it from another point of view, how can you make it better than this season? If he wins even just two trophies, there is nothing uh, really to achieve anymore at Leverkusen. Unless uh, Xabi Alonso is dreaming about winning the Champions League, but I don't think Leverkusen is, is strong enough to win the Champions League yet. And Radeski said, we have built something that's worth a trophy. I hope it comes. Football is cruel sometimes. You don't want Bayern breathing down your necks. But hopefully the platform that we have built so far, we have created, is enough to see us through to the Bundesliga title. We are getting closer. That's the mission. We have to keep believing. We are getting closer to our dream. And I hope it happens. For Xavi Alonso, there is a lot to ponder. But he is enough of a gentleman to make the right decision. And only he knows what's best uh, for him. So yeah, the biggest question I think is not that Xabi Alonso will go to Liverpool or Bayern Munich. The biggest question is will he leave Leverkusen? Because he still hasn't indicated that he really wants to leave. I think Xabi Alonso wants to see out how this season goes and if he is uh, you know guaranteed to win the Bundesliga title then he will start really thinking seriously about his future but behind the scenes Liverpool have a big problem if Xabi Alonso delays his decision what does Liverpool do do we wait for Xabi Alonso and uh, jeopardize our next season because uh, pre-season plans transfer plans everything needs to be in place by the time pretty much the season finishes and uh, we already have to wor start working on our transfer targets but if Xabi Alonso doesn't commit to Liverpool the Liverpool maybe need to move on to other targets and uh, that could be a problem maybe if Xabi Alonso for example in May when Liverpool already would announce their next manager Xabi Alonso in May says you know what I'm leaving Leverkusen then Liverpool might regret uh, going early to appoint the, their next manager so we need to give Xabi Alonso as much time as possible to decide to make his decision but we need to also give him a deadline, maybe at the beginning of May or the middle of May. But the, the problem is the season finishes for Leverkusen probably at the end of May uh, with the Bundesliga, the Europa League probably is the Europa League final is the last game of the season. But that would be Liverpool's last game of the season probably. And we probably need to know who our next manager is by that time because uh, the transfers uh, need to already be set in motion so it's a very difficult situation for Liverpool and Fabrizio Van also said that Florian Wirtz has spoken about his future suggesting that for now his plan is to remain at Bayer Leverkusen and that's my understanding as well his full focus is on Leverkusen and on the Euros there are currently no negotiations sources close to the player believe the best option is to stay at Leverkusen for one more year at least they never say never in football but it's very quiet so far so Florian Wirtz probably is not coming to Liverpool for one reason he's very happy at Leverkusen
lose and he's starting regularly and also he probably is costing too much money. Liverpool would need to pay 100, 120 million pounds and uh, attacking midfield is not really a position that Liverpool are desperate to strengthen in. We need probably uh, to sign a new winger in case Salah leaves in the next one or two years and we also need to sign a new centre-back to replace Joao Matip. So those are the big um, you know areas where Liverpool are looking to make transfers in Fabio Simano knows that as well. Fabio Carvalho also revealed that he suffered confidence problems uh, in his first season at Liverpool. There were games that I entered and I lacked confidence perhaps because of the way I was playing or because I had a uh, few opportunities but since we were in a bad phase I think Jurgen Klopp decided to bet on more experienced players to try to overcome that moment and yes Fabio Carvalho played in a season where Liverpool struggled all over the pitch but uh, his uh, lone move to Leverkusen uh, sorry to Leipzig didn't work out but now at Hull City he's thriving he scored four goals in 11 games for Hull City and Hull City are trying to make the playoffs in the championship uh, they are pretty close to the playoff spots Harvey Elliott also shined for the England under 21s uh, they won 5-1 against Azerbaijan Harvey Elliott got two goals as well and Tyler Morton a lone player who is on loan at Hull City Fabio Carvalho's club as well he got two assists as well so Tyler Morton is a big talent and maybe next season he could play a part for Liverpool but maybe another loan move would uh, benefit uh, his development as well and Konate also revealed that the Liverpool players are a little bit nervous about uh, Liverpool's managerial search he said uh, Jurgen Klopp is one of the pillars of the club I was very surprised when he announced his exit but when you listen to him when when you understand why he made his, this decision you can only thank him. Liverpool is Liverpool. It was Klopp who came for me and took me to the level I am at today. It will, will always remain a legendary exceptional club. Everyone is apprehensive. Every player is aware of that. Who will be the new coach? Will things go well collectively, individually? Because tomorrow a new coach arrives and for personal reasons he may not like us. And you can't stay at the club because you have your career, you have your pleasures afterwards. There's not really too much to worry about at that level. Level. Liverpool will get the job done and with what I'm doing on the pitch today there is no reason why it shouldn't work out but yeah Liverpool need to announce the next manager very very soon so it's going to be very very interesting how Liverpool approach this situation and I will keep you guys updated on uh, the situation along the way so thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos to come today see you later goodbye